Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame asa ala. Kuhuluimla. Yahweh wa basim yahweh sai. Baha sumra kahakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water toward the Akiyam and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh wa basim yahweh sai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um,. Seen this uh, article in American Military News, U.S. moving nuclear weapons to U.K. Okay. It says a new report claims the United States is relocating nuclear weapons to the United Kingdom for the first time in almost 20 years as tensions increase between Russia and the United States and its allies. So we know what this is. This is all leading up to here, baby. That third. Whoa. Matter of fact, let me um, grab that real quick. What is that? Uh. Yeah, man. It is, hey, this month blew by real quick. And time is flying. And we're getting closer to the end, man. Revelations 11 and 14. It says, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And that second woe was World War II, and this third woe is World War III. And it's happening quickly. It's coming quickly, man. It's, it's not much time left to this thing. That's why it's so important to repent. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because the Lord is going to have all these. He's clearing the way right now for all these nations to come together in the valley of Jehoshaphat to get that business, man. Because he's, that's where he's going to plead for his children, Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? And you know these nations, man. They're they, they not, they not letting Jake go. They're not letting us just, just go. They, 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 they will never. They fooled you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into you having some freedom. And, but in reality, they would never allow you to um, acquire no land or no military or no hospitals or no. They want you totally relying upon them. They're going to give you what they want to give you. <laughs> you know, they're going to feed you what they want to feed you. They want to be in control of, 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 of your children and, 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 you know, have our babies grow up to think that they're fucking Americans in all these different places and go to their militaries and fight their wars and, you know, just, hey, we're not free, man. We, we need out of here. And this is this is a perfect thing right here, man. You know, I know a lot of Jake, you get to talking to him about, you know, well, why would you want things to be destroyed like that? Because, man, if it's not destroyed, then we don't make it. We, we you know, we don't make our kingdom. Hey, we we need out of here. This place has to be destroyed, man. Okay, but it says a new report claims the United States is relocating nuclear weapons to the United Kingdom for the first time. Okay, we got that part. For the first time in almost 20 years, the Telegraph reported Friday that it had reviewed documents from the Pentagon regarding procurement contracts for a facility in Suffolk at Royal Air, Air Force Lakenheath. The, outlook, the outlet reported that the Pentagon documents confirm that the United States is planning to store nuclear warheads three times more powerful than... The Hiroshima atomic bomb at the UK air base. Man. And again, you know, hey, see, this is right. This is why we can bring out um, this scripture, Job 9 and 24, with such confidence and, and know that this is that's them. This is the so-called white man. Esau Edom. He's running the earth. So lock you in Ecclesiastes. Job. So lock you, Job 9 and 24. He's in control. You think that the so-called Negroes have the, the access to a bomb that they can just move somewhere three times as, as, as powerful as Hiroshima? Man, Jake ain't got nothing but a handgun, or a rifle, a little AK, a little switch. You know, Jake, not, our people not dealing with nothing like that, man. <laughs> you see? And, 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 the, and the, the few weapons that we do have, they come straight from the so-called white man. He's making them. He's making the ammunition, man. Job 9 and 24, it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing, who is he? See, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He's the one that had the capability to say, we're moving nukes. This motherfucker catch you with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a pellet gun, a BB gun. He catch you with a little 22 pistol. And, and, and he can throw you in jail for, for damn near the rest of your life. This man is moving shit that can take out continents, man. So you know this is his world. Can't get around it, man. You cannot get around it. It says, according to the Telegraph, the U.S. previously held nuclear weapons at Royal Air Force Lakenheath during the Cold War. 
Based on Pentagon documents, the outlet reports that the airbase will soon hold B-61-12 nuclear gravity bombs that can be deployed by F-15s, F-16s, and F-35s. Are you trying to tell me that this ain't, he's not in control of the world? He's not in control of the world? Come on, man. The Telegraph reports, the Telegraph report claims that Pentagon has ordered new military equipment for, for Lake and Heath, including ballistic shields that are designed to protect military members from enemy attacks on high-value assets. Chairman of the Military Committee of NATO, Admiral Rob Bauer, recently warned that NATO forces are preparing for conflict with Russia because it's not a given that we are in peace. Well, you, you know, you're all Edomites. The so-called Russians are Edomites. These, these so-called white people here in America, they're Edomites. All the ones that's a part of NATO, they're Edomites. And and Esau was given that, that power to take peace from the earth, man. Let me see if I can find that. Yep, Revelation 6 and 4 says, And there went out another horse that was red. And that red goes off into them, man. Because they're not white people. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. That's their that, that, that that's another indicator that we know who this guy is. It says, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. What do you think the great sword is? Those nuclear weapons, man. This man got he just he just named they just named off three of their jets that they can put this on. Let me get that back again. They can be deployed. It says the, the uh, B-61, 12 nuclear gravity bombs. They can be deployed by F F-15s, F-16s, and F-35s. Those are billion-dollar jets, man. And guess what? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you pay tax money towards that shit. It had nothing to do with it. This is how this is how they're telling you that. See, they're telling you that you're free, but you're still in slavery because you're working for them. <laughs> You it, it, I mean, come on, bro. You you can't get around this, man. This man is about to. He's about to get everybody fucked up, basically, except for the elect of Israel. <laughs> it says chairman of the military committee, NATO, Admiral Rob Bauer, recently warned that NATO forces are preparing for a conflict with Russia because it's not given that we are in peace. And you already know um, Russia is a part of in days prophecies, man, as far as America getting fucked up. The Lord said that he was put, will put a hook into um, Gog, Magog, and, and, and pull them pull them back in, man. Right? Because they see Russia back on, on top as far as their power, man. It says Bauer added that European forces need to be prepared for a potential war with Russia over the next couple of decades. And, and you know, we are praying for real, for real. This don't carry out. <laughs> we, we're hoping for this to come on through this year. You no know, down 20 years, you no know, couple of decades, you no know, 20 years of Esau, the so-called white man still running shit. There won't be no earth. Come on. These people here crazy. Oh, my goodness, crazy. Damn shit that's on TV right in the backdrop. Oh, my goodness, man. This this place got to be destroyed. Oh, my. <laughs> anyway, I ain't going to even get into it. It says the Telegraph noted that Russia has threatened to respond if... The United States relocates nuclear weapons to the U United Kingdom. So just letting you know. Hey, this guy, this guy not playing no games, man. Putin, um, that president of Russia that day, that guy pretty much when he's talking, he's not fumbling around like Biden, man. He, he's, he, he's sticking to his word, man. It says if this step is ever made, we will view it as an escalation, as a step towards escalation that will take things to a direction that is quite opposite to the addressing the pressing issues of pulling all nuclear weapons out of European countries. Maria Zakharova, a Russian foreign minister spokesperson, said previously regarding the potential return to U.S. nuclear weapons to Europe in the context of the transition of the United States and NATO to, to an open confrontational course of inflicting a strategic defeat on Russia. This practice, its development force, forced us to take compensating countermeasures designed to re designed to reliably 
protect the security interests of our country and allies. See? Oh, Slovakia. Okay, it says, um, while the Pentagon spokesperson told the Telegraph that the United States routinely upgrades its military facilities in allied nations, the spokesperson claimed the Pentagon documents are not predictive of any specific posture or basic detail. Well, what do you think they're going to look at it like? You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you think these people are stupid? It says it is a U.S. policy to neither confirm nor deny the presence of ab absence of nuclear weapons at any general or specific location, the spokesperson said. You pretty much see what it is, man. You see what it is. And let me get this one, too. And this place is through, man. <laughs> this place is so through, man. Esau, the, the so-called white man, he done fell off so bad, man. It's just... Uh, we just can't wait, man. What was that? I wanted to get that uh, Proverbs. Um, was that 21? Yeah, all this is happening for a reason. The Lord is pushing these buttons, man. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. In the NLT, it says, The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. So, this is what you're, you're witnessing right now. You're witnessing the Lord pushing buttons. He's got this guy thinking this. He's got this guy thinking that. He's got this guy doing this. He's got this guy doing that. And they're going to eventually come together and come. it's going to all come to a head, man. Right? Let me go into the Apocrypha real quick, though, too. And there's so many articles, man, that I was seeing that, um, that's just, you could just see that this man's kingdom is just, it's, it, it, it's trash, man. It it, it is falling to, I mean, a, a great, great super low for them. It really has, man. <laughs> and all praise to see how about Shemi was shy for it, man. We root and we pray for this on a day to day basis. Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. And that's what we're witnessing. Because Esau is divided. See, those Russians and, and these so-called white people here in America, they're the same people. They should be, you know, having children. Because from their own data and their own stats, they're saying that they're dying off quicker than they're being born. So what are you about to bomb each other for? That lets you know, man, that the Lord is in control. That lets you know that these people, the Lord is, 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 is using them against each other, man, with that very weapon that he, that, that very sword that he was blessed with, man. And that's a beautiful thing, man. You're living in beautiful times right now. As a matter of fact, this dude is able to just ship shit around the world like it's nothing, man. And nobody can stop him. That's how you know this is his shit, man. Anyway, let's come out of this one. Check out some of these stories, man. Uh, let me go into this history. Because I'm just, I'm just pulling them. I was going to just, you know. Man, you got this one right here. The guy's, um, the guy's army convoy. Traveling to Texas to stop migrants has seen a vehicle get lost, tire slashed, and someone stranded on the highway. So you got Esau going to try and control that situation. Because this is their shit. They know it's falling. <laughs> and they're trying to fight hardcore, man, to keep what it is that they've, you know, what they stole, man, hundreds of years ago. They they, they, lose, they, they losing grips. They, they, they lost their grips on their power. Here's another one. Let's see what else we got in here. I just, I just, I just plucked on a few of them. You got this one. Former CIA director Leon Panetti warns China may use Michigan EV plant for espionage. Now, why would you allow um, um, China to buy so much of your land? Greed, stupidity. See, China, you, you think you think these Americans are going to go over there to China and, 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 and start an EV company? You think these people going to go over there into China and they going to just, you know, buy up land and set up shop and do these different things? And, and, and no, they're not about to become dependent upon the U.S., man. These people got sense enough to know that and we can't let them in our country because they wreck shit. Anyway, that's that's another one. What else they got in here? Oh, yep, this one. This is MoneyWise.com. They generally have some pretty decent um articles. It says no end in sight. Blackstone CEO doesn't think the U.S. can handle another term under President Biden or what he calls four more years of debt misery. <laughs> and that's real. And when you go into these comments, you you, you go into these comments, hey, Esau is all separated. 
they all divided. The, the scripture says that um, a kingdom divided cannot stand. The so-called white people in, in red states don't like the so-called white people in blue states. You got the left, you got the right, you got the up, the down, you got the 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 the, the LGBTQ against the the regular people. It's just the shit is retarded, man. President Biden is the best president in the world of uncertainty. He's gotten the job done over and over again with no help from the Republicans in MAGA. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, these comments not looking good. They're not looking good, man. And, and people can see that. They see it going to shit. Look at this one right here. Another money wise. He looked like a uh, Moabite, though. But these Americans, man, is through. It says, I stay with my mommy and daddy. This 22-year-old Californian says he's not moving out anytime soon, and neither are many young people in, in the U.S., but does this growing trend hurt parents the most? <laughs> you can't get your kids out of the house because nobody can really, can't, can't, you know, Esau done made it to the point where you can't afford nothing. Check this one out. Here you go. Edomites. And one woman beat cellmate to deletion, said, I thought she was using my toothbrush to scrub the toilet. Edomite women. Well, they appear to be Edomite women. I don't want to go by just the way that they look. But this shit, when I was reading the story, it sounds about Edomite-ish. Here you go. You, it, this lady is, is 69 years old, and she's bunked up with a 28-year-old that's just on lost her. She, she, she said, well, I, I stopped taking my meds, and I started hearing voices. See? This this is this is the low that that you have when it comes to so-called white people that you got their own women that's in jail. See, they don't put a lot of these stories out there in the news news because they like to try and try and make it seem like it's our people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are doing all these these different types of things. But hey, he's all gone. What's this guy? He um cut his dad, you know, decapitated his dad and, 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 and showed the shit on, 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 on YouTube, I think it was. See, Esau through, man. This place is through. And again, you know, just a just a, a few, you know, stories, man. You got this guy right here. He's in jail. He's crawling in agony, begging the staff to help him. Just before he 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 dies, he in his damn inmate suit. They just standing there looking at him like he's crazy. And again, I mean, you know, it, it, these stories go on and on. Here, go, oh, here you go, right here, I think. Man accused of decapitating father blamed joblessness on being overeducated white man. Claimed he is the biggest thing since Jesus. He also released three albums on Spotify, self-published seven books, and said King of Earth was the only suitable position for him. <laughs> nah, Esau, y'all through, man. Look at this dude. Through, man through it's over with mr done deal man anyway i'm gonna end out there i ain't want to keep it long but man i'm telling you man you as you just scroll through these stories these stories is crazy as hell you got the oxford shooter going with the kids they just shooting up these damn schools yeah that's pretty much about yeah that's about about, about it there i mean there's so many more though Biden paralyzed with fear amid Iran response. John Bolton. Hey, man. Dude, man. It says, hope you like seaweed because we'll all be eating it after nuclear war if you survive. <laughs> oh, man. This 16-year-old boy wear, wears red dress to prom, cheered on by classmates and teacher at school. Look at this fucker, man. And this is what this is coming to. Here you go. You need... This dude, he should be joining the military. He should be in ROTC somewhere. But yet and still, here you go. Here you go. This, hey, this is Esau's world. He gets cheered on. Hey, but this is his world, man. This is how you know that this place is through. When your military uh, uh, age young men are, are living these types of lifestyles and, and not looking back neither. And he wants you to go to the army, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He wants you to go into the army so you can go and fight to protect his, his lifestyle. He ain't going up. Anyway, I'm going to end out there, man. With that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all,